All right, I'm super excited to apply this on my face, but first I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this foundation. Um, this is what it looks like. It's the same packaging as their original Photo Focus, their first ever. And this one just has Dewy written on it. And what I'm so excited about is that it doesn't smell like paint. That is the only reason why I stopped using the um, the first photo finish, the matte one, I guess, um, because it smelled so much like paint and I couldn't take it. It was very strong. This one does have a scent to it, but it's not that paint scent. To me, it kind of smells like nail polish, but very, very subtle, so I could handle this. I just, that paint smell was not good. <laughs> so this foundation retails for $6.49. And it is a dewy foundation. It's weightless, super nourishing foundation that delivers natural all day wear. It's silky and creamy. The coverage is buildable from medium to full and it is easily transitions from day to night wear. So this foundation is ideal for normal to dry skin types. This moisturizing formula blends seamlessly, blurs imperfections, and helps minimize the appearance of pores for a perfectly smooth dewy finish and it is available in 20 shades. So yeah, I really enjoyed their first photo focus foundation. I will link my review of that one in the description bar. I remember it being pretty uh, flawless looking and seamless. I hope this is the same, but with just a little bit of a do. It doesn't, they didn't say anything about recommending this to oily skin. So I don't know if this would work for oily skin. Um, I have normal to dry skin, so this is probably perfect for me. All right, so I picked up the shade Nude Ivory. It's gonna look a little light on me, I think, maybe. Let's see. Hopefully I shade matched correctly. Actually, oops. Before I put on foundation, I always put on a primer, and this is the Hourglass Primer Serum. I have to have primer. It really makes a difference for me when it comes to longevity. I really like this um, primer because it feels like oily. And that's really good for dry skin, in my opinion. The applicator is still the same. It's that spatula applicator. Sometimes I wish it did come with a pump, but this is good too. It looks a little light, <laughs> but I think we're fine. Okay, right, so this side, I'm going to try it with the uh, Beauty Blender and the other side with a brush. Wow, look at that coverage. It is medium to full, and I could tell already that it will cover a lot because I already covered most of my imperfections and my um, uneven skin tone, and it's blending out beautifully. No streakiness, and it's this beauty blender is not picking up a lot of it as well. I'm loving how it's blending. It's literally just melting right into my skin. All right, so this is with the Beauty Blender and I really like the coverage. Here is no foundation and then here is the foundation. It's really nice. It uh, evened out my skin tone and covered up my veins slash a little bit of like sun damage um, and it looks dewy. I hope it stays dewy. And it doesn't look cakey whatsoever, even underneath my eyes. It looks pretty blended in. All right, so now I'm gonna try it with the brush. Hopefully it doesn't go streaky. So I'm using the uh, It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush. This is my favorite foundation brush ever. It just blends the foundation so good into the skin. Okay, with the brush, I don't see any streakiness. That's what I was worried about. Because sometimes I'm super lazy to wet my beauty blender. Okay, it's not a bad shade match at all, in my opinion. Wow, the brush definitely does give you a lot more coverage because it doesn't pick up as much. Um, so if you're looking... For coverage, definitely choose a brush over the Beauty Blender because I feel like the Beauty Blender does pick up a lot.
And then so far it's feeling pretty nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. It's pretty lightweight. Um, and it definitely does not feel greasy, which uh, I hate greasy foundations. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Jouer Concealer and Custard. And I'm just putting a little bit because I don't want it to affect my foundation. And since I'm still trying to keep this foundation dewy looking, I'm gonna only set my under eyes and a little bit of my forehead because I do get a little oily there. I'm using the um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder in the shade Fair. And it never goes cakey on me. The tiniest bit. I don't know, this foundation claims to be dewy, but in my opinion, it doesn't look too, too dewy. So I didn't set the rest of my face, and the touch of the foundation isn't super sticky, but it is a little tiny bit tacky, um, which I expect from a foundation. But overall, I really like how this blended into my skin. It really looks like it blurred my skin. So I'm going to move on to bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade... Take it to Brazil. I'm super excited to use this. It has a little bit of shimmer inside of it, but I think this is the lightest shade. So that's a really pretty bronzer shade. I was scared I was gonna pull a little bit orange and it's blending nicely as well. I just really like Wet n Wild products. They know what they're doing. So for blush, I'm using the M Cosmetics Heavenly Glow Magic Hour. Just really love this blush. It looks so good. I love the shade too. It's like pink, but not overly pink. Alright. So now I'm going to finish off my look with a little bit of highlight. So this is the new Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter. Um, and it is in the shade Highlight Bling. This is the highlight I'll be using. This is apparently a blush that I'm too scared to put on my face because I don't want to look too shimmery because um, it really is on the shimmer shy side. Let me just watch it for you guys. Yeah, so it's pretty shimmery. And I kind of don't want that today. It's really pretty though. I would try it on another day. And then here is the highlight. Oh, that is so pretty. I love Wet n Wild highlighters. That's what it looks blended in. Compared to their other highlighters, this one does have a little bit more shimmer slash glitter. Whoa. I barely even touched my... Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> Let me blend some out on this side. Wow, that is so blinding. Yeah, be careful. A little goes a long way. So you can kind of see the little glitter particles. I wish it was a little bit more fine than that. Um, but I'm not hating. I still really like this highlighter. Literally, you only need the tiniest bit. Alright, and then now for lips, I'm going to finish it off with the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in Magic Hour. Alright, there you have it. This is the foundation and the overall completed look. So it's currently 1.05 p.m. I will check back with you guys throughout the day um, to show you the progress of this foundation. But so far, this is the finish, the first application. Um, no cakiness whatsoever. It didn't cling onto my patchy skin. It just really looks like skin in my opinion. Um, so I'm super excited to see how this is going to wear throughout the day. I will see you guys in a couple hours. Alright, so it is... 
57. I'm in my car right now and it's been almost five hours since I've worn this foundation and it looks so good. Like it kind of looks like how I applied it. It wore nicely. It's not cakey. Um, didn't go into my smile lines yet. So yeah, this is a little check-in. I'll check in one more time at the end of the day to see how it wore. But at five hours, this is amazing. I already love it. Um, it just looks, it literally just looks like skin. So yep, I will be right back in a couple more hours. All right, so ignore the background. This is how I film my YouTube videos. Um, but I'm going to talk about the finish. It is 11:30, so it's been more than 10 hours since i've had this foundation on and i'm looking in the mirror right now so i really like the finish of it it still looks the same um besides the dewiness i feel like the dewiness wasn't there i say it's more of a satin finish because it's like in between matte and dewy um definitely not a super super dewy foundation and yeah i will continue to wear this foundation because for the price, you can't beat it. <laughs> and it's just, it feels great on my skin and looks great. So I will keep you guys updated if I continue to wear this foundation, which is most likely going to happen because I just really like the outcome of how this wore and how it feels on my skin and the price point as well. Like Wet n Wild, it's, it's great. Wet n Wild is great. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you in my next one.